Hi, my name is Serena, and this is the story of how I went from being a waitress to owning one of the largest hotel chains in the world. I think I've known mom was a little kooky since I was a baby. She was always weighing me, checking my temperature, and taking me to her favorite place, the free clinic. On my third birthday, I was about to blow out the candle on my cupcake when mom suddenly shrieked. Serena, stick your tongue out. It was purple. Cool. Mom flipped out, bundled me up in blankets, and rushed me off to the clinic. My baby has some rare disease. You have to believe me this time. The doctor inspected my mouth. She ate a lollipop. Oh my God, a lollipop made her that sick? Is she going to make it? Ma'am, she just ate a purple lollipop. Your child is perfectly fine. Stop coming here and leave me alone. As I grew older, my life got even crazier with mom always convinced that we had some serious disease. She couldn't even hold a job for too long because she'd always get fired for taking so many sick leaves. But on my sixth birthday, she took me out for a rare treat to an amusement park. As I got off the merry-go-round, I suddenly felt my left eye start to twitch, and I just couldn't make it stop. A few strangers thought I was being really cute, winking at them. But mom looked really alarmed and rushed me straight to the hospital. The doctors ran some tests and concluded that the involuntary winking was a minor condition called blepharospasm, usually triggered by excitement or stress. Blepho, what? That doesn't even sound minor. It's perfectly harmless. A small procedure will fix it. But we didn't have the money for it. It's just a little winking, right? It'll be fine. You'll be fine? What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. A few months after that, my mom got a job as a teaching assistant at a really posh school. She was psyched because that meant I could go to this school for free. But on the very first day, in the very first class, I ended up winking at our cranky old math teacher. She looked like I'd just spit on her. How dare you wink at me, you naughty child. Miss, I, I can't help it. I it's a condition called blepharospasm. Do you think you're really smart saying big words and I'm some buffoon? Stop making up nonsense and stop doing that. I can't. Can't or won't. I would if I could, but I really can't. Everyone around me was falling off their chairs laughing when suddenly a girl spoke up. Miss, she did tell me that she was too smart for your class. What? I've never even seen you before. Okay, Miss Smarty Pants, why don't you solve this question? Oh, Miss, can I? My math tutor from China taught me this. I don't think she'd know. Look at her shoes. She looks poor. I walked up to the board and solved it in a second. A first grader could solve that. I guess having a fancy tutor doesn't make anyone smart if they're like, dumb dumb. After that, Barbara swore vengeance on me. She was always pulling tricks on me to make me look idiotic. One time, she told everyone I was stinky and I'd pooped my pants. I did not. Did too. I just saw you winking again. Stinky Serena. She pulled my pants down and suddenly everyone burst into laughter. We can see your underpants. <laughs> what an idiot. In the fourth grade, I got selected for an important speech for Christmas. But during rehearsal, I suddenly realized I didn't have the speech paper on me. I felt really nervous and I started to speak from memory, but my winking was set off and the principal looked really annoyed. Do you think this is some joke? You have to perform this speech in front of nuns and priests. You're not doing it. Barbara, you will. Barbara hopped on the stage and started reading out from a paper. It was my speech. But things got even worse by the time we reached eighth grade. The boys started paying me a lot more attention. One day in the gym, Barbara was clinging onto her jock boyfriend like a snake when I accidentally winked at him. He dropped Barbara to the floor and dashed straight towards me. That wink stole my heart, Serena. Be my girlfriend. Ew, you already have a girlfriend. Not anymore. He tried to kiss me, but just then, a flying stiletto hit my head. Get away from my man, you boyfriend stealer. Hearing that, another girl spoke up. She did it with my boyfriend too, and now he can't stop talking about her. Another jock chimed in. My girlfriend and I broke up because she winked at us both. Wait, when did that happen? 
Seconds later, the gym was filled with flying shoes as I tried to run for my life. Thankfully, just then, someone yelled, Guys, there's a new guy and he's super hot. Within seconds, everyone was out the door. Phew, a guy would keep these girls distracted for weeks. But when I saw him, I had to admit, he was a total babe. Class, I would like you to meet Victor, an exchange student from Russia. He'll be joining us for this school year. Without a word or a smile, he walked to his seat. Barbara turned to me and hissed. You can have all the boys you want, but Victor is mine. Stay away from him. What are you talking about? I'm not even doing anything. Yet. Over the next few days, Barbara kept following Victor like a desperate puppy. But the guy was emotionless, like a robot. He wouldn't even smile back at anyone. But one day, Barbara saw me sneaking a glance at him and she pushed me from behind. I would have fallen to my death, but thank God, someone saved me. It was Victor. While he was holding me in his arms, our eyes met and I winked. He immediately dropped me to the ground. That was the stupidest wink I have ever seen. Please, don't do that again. Barbara was by his side instantly. She's always doing that. She's a freak. I'll introduce you to the cool kids here. With that, she put her arm through his and they walked away. What a jerk. I was so getting back at this dude. The next day, I found him in the library playing chess with the others. And of course, he kept winning. Who was this guy? Freaking perfect Edward Cullen? When he was done beating everyone, I plopped into the chair in front of him. One of the kids shouted, Loser will pay the winner a thousand dollars. Russians are monsters in chess, Serena. You're just gonna embarrass yourself. I gulped. I couldn't pay ten dollars, but it was too late to turn back. I had to win. We started playing and to my surprise, I checkmated him in just four moves. He handed me a check and left without a word. Just then, I had the craziest realization and I followed him outside. Hey, you let me win on purpose, didn't you? Suddenly, he walked closer to me till his face was just inches from mine. W what are you doing? He came even closer and then he whispered in my ear, you're welcome. Blood rushed to my face in anger. How dare you underestimate me? Take your stupid money. I tore his check in half and walked away. What an arrogant jerk. But when I got home, I almost wished I'd taken the money. I found mom curled up in bed, crying hysterically. Mom, what's wrong? I'm sorry, sweetie, but your mama failed you. I quit my job today. But why? I'm almost certain I have bird flu. But mom, only birds get bird flu. You don't know that. I read in the news that it's spreading like crazy. I'm not leaving the house. I'm so sorry, but she'll have to drop out of that school. I had no idea when mom would work again, and I needed to get a job immediately. Over the weekend, I found a decent job as a server at a fast food joint. At the end of the day, I'd have some guy waiting to take me on a date because I'd winked at him. As annoying as it was to explain the condition over and over, my winking got me crazy good tips. One day while I was working, a group of kids walked in, and I spotted Barbara and Victor among them. As soon as she saw me, she grinned wickedly. Hey there, little miss ugly, dumb, and broke. You missed a spot. Then she poured a glass of soda all over the table. To my surprise, Victor jumped up instantly. What are you doing? This is stupid. He started mopping up the table with tissue papers. Our eyes met, and before I could stop myself, I winked again. At that, Barbara turned into a freaking Karen. Where is the manager? I demand to see the manager. This moron is trying to flirt with my boyfriend. That witch was gonna get me fired. Thankfully, Victor stepped in and dragged her out. She's not my girlfriend, and she didn't wink at me. I got a warning from my boss, and after that, he made me wear tinted glasses at work. One day after my night shift, my boss asked me to throw the leftover food in the dump outside. But why would you want to do that? There are so many homeless people all around. We could just give it to them. I run a business, not a charity. Just do what I'm telling you to. I took the bag out and saw a lot of beggars and homeless kids lining up around the dumpster to dig through it for food. Not on my watch. I secretly gave them all the food and started taking the night shift daily. It felt great to be able to help them all. But just two weeks later, as I was about to distribute the food, 
my manager jumped up from behind the dumpster. He dragged me inside. You thief! How dare you just give away my stuff like that? Thief? All this food just lands in the garbage. What's wrong with you? It won't make your profits any less if you're kind to others. Yada, yada, yada. Get out of my face. You're fired. I wouldn't want to work with a monster like you anyway. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you when you need money. No, you will not. I'm hiring her to work for my dad at his five-star hotel. She won't be coming back to this dump. I spun around to see Victor. I didn't know if he was kidding, but right now, it was best to play along. So I took his arm and walked off, sticking my tongue out at my ex-boss. Were you kidding, back there? No, of course not. I want someone like you at our company. Honesty and kindness are rare qualities, and you have them both. Why are you helping me, Victor? Because I think I'm in love with you, Serena. And your smile, and your wink, and your big heart. I can't ignore you anymore. I tried when I thought you were just a pretty face, but you're so much more than that. I can't ignore your kindness. My heart was beating like crazy. Did he just say he loved me? I, I really like you too, Victor, but I'm not like you. You're so rich and I'm not. I just then he leaned in and kissed me. When we finally broke apart, he said, I don't care about any of that. Victor and I started dating, and of course, this meant Barbara was going crazy. One day, she showed up to stay at the hotel and demanded that I be sent in to clean her room. Five minutes after I came out, she started raising hell, saying I'd stolen her money and her watch. I didn't touch a thing, you psycho. How dare you talk to me like that? You're just a maid and a thief. With that, she started throwing things around and demanded that I be fired instantly. I turned to my manager. You can check my stuff. I didn't take anything. I'll sue the hotel if you don't fire her on the spot. Or we could have you thrown out instead for treating my staff badly and damaging my property. I turned around in relief to see Victor, who had her taken out by security immediately. The next day, to everyone's shock, Barbara was serving lunch in the cafeteria. Turns out, Victor had threatened to sue Barbara's dad and said the only way he'd let it go was if she worked as the lunch lady for a whole year. After that, Barbara never messed with me again, and I graduated high school at the top of my class. Victor and I both got degrees in hotel management, and after we graduated university, he asked me to marry him. At our engagement party, we also announced the launch of our special welfare program where all the extra food from the hotels would be given to shelters and the homeless. Soon after, we moved to London to set up another hotel. I got a small procedure to fix my wink. Now when I wink, I totally mean it. <laughs>